Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify square roots, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have the square root of 20. Now, 20 is not a perfect square, so we're not going to get a nice and clean cut whole number answer, so we need to simplify. We can do this by looking for factors of 20 that are perfect squares and then find their square roots. For example, we know that 4 times 5 equals 20. 4 and 5 are factors of 20. They go into 20, so to speak. 4 is a perfect square. So let's do this in order to simplify. The square root of 20 equals the square root of 4 times 5. Now the multiplication or product property of square roots lets us split this, meaning we can do this. The square root of four times the square root of five. That's equivalent to the square root of 20, it's equal. We're not changing the value of the problem at all. Now we can take the square root of our perfect square, four, and we end up with well, the square root of four is two. Bring down our square root of five because we cannot simplify that any further. So our simplified answer is two times the square root of five or two square root five. Let's try another one and move on to number two where we have the square root of 32. So we need to think, are there any factors of 32 that are perfect squares? So any numbers that can go into 32, so to speak, that are perfect squares? If so, we can simplify. If not, it's already in simplest form. Well, we know that 16 times two equals 32, and 16 is a perfect square, so we can simplify. The square root of 32 equals the square root of 16 times two. Let's split this so we have the square root of 16 times the square root of two. 16 is a perfect square, so the square root of 16 is four. So we end up with four times the square root of two, or four square root two, or you can even say four root two. Now two cannot be simplified any further, so this is our final answer as far as simplifying the square root of 32. Now I do want to mention we can take another path to get to that same answer for number two. I'm going to try to squeeze it in to the left here. We know that four times eight also equals 32 and four is a perfect square. So this is the other path we can take. And I'm going to start by splitting these just to make sure I have enough room so we have the square root of four times the square root of eight. The square root of four is two. Let's bring down our square root of eight. Now we can continue to simplify. We're not done yet because we have a perfect square within eight as far as factors go because four times two equals eight and four is a perfect square. So again, we can continue to simplify. So we have two times the square root of four times the square root of two. So the square root of four, again, is two. So we end up with two times two times the square root of two. Now the square root of two is simplified, so we can't break that down any further, but we can multiply our two times two. So two times two gives us four, and then we have the square root of two. So same exact answer, but a different path. And that's okay, both of those paths are correct. So keep that in mind, there may be different paths as far as simplifying a square root. Just always remember to check if you can simplify further. Let's move on to number three and try another one where we have the square root of 45. So think, any factors that are perfect squares? Yes. 9 and 5 are factors of 45. 9 times 5 equals 45, and 9 is a perfect square. So the square root of 45 equals 
the square root of 9 times 5. Let's split this. So square root of 9 times the square root of 5. So the square root of 9 is 3. Bring down our square root of 5. That cannot be simplified any further. So we have 3 times the square root of 5, or 3 square root 5, or 3 root 5. Lastly, number 4, we have the square root of 75. So any factors that are perfect squares, well, 25 and 3 are factors of 75. 25 times 3 equals 75. And 25 is a perfect square. So the square root of 75 equals the square root of 25 times 3. Let's split. So we get the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. Now the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5, and then the square root of 3 is in simplest form. So we can't break that down any further, and this is our final simplified answer. Now I do want to mention that we always put the number before the square root symbol, as you can see in all four of our final simplified answers. So for example, if we were to put the 3 first, so the square root of 3, times the square root of 25 and get the square root of 3 times 5, you would want to uh, rearrange this so you have the number first and put the square root second. So you can see that we have the number, then the square root. So that's common practice and that's how you would want to leave your answers. So there you have it. There's how you simplify square roots. Now I would suggest really knowing the first 12 perfect squares. This is going to help a lot as far as square roots go and simplifying them. I have a pinned comment below with the first 12. So if you need some help with those, check that out. I also have some other square root videos down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.